Hey everybody, we and we are back to Dark Souls 2. I fucked up, I forgot to hit record, so yeah, you didn't really miss much. I was just kind of recapping where I was where I was and where I'm going. Uh we came to the realization that I have become a woman. I have breasts and I did some creepy things, but maybe it's better that I didn't record that. So we'll just leave that as it is. And right now we are going to a new area. A buddy of mine told me that the maiden moves from the tower of Heidi Flame back to the man or she moves to Manjula. And the place where I am is uh, behind the cat's house. And I guess not much happened, but it just sucks that to lose any footage or to not even record any footage. Uh, but she just opened us a opened a new path for us, and all I had to do was just pay her like two thousand souls. So it's not that much. Um, so we're going into a new area. Uh, rogue water. What? Rogue water. Rogue water. Okay, so that's for um, spellcasters that are low on health. Or low on everything, I guess. And uh, I should probably use my shield right now. And I probably should have brought a torch. You know, I probably should have brought a torch. Fuck me. That's okay. Uh, I should probably be more careful. There's a lot of... There's a lot of shoulda, woulda, coulda. A lot of shoulda, I guess. Um, yeah, so we're just going through a dark cave. Oh, hello. Mr. Man. You got a face? No, you don't. I don't know who you are, but Believe me, B. The frailty of the weak disrupt. Um, leave. I'm interested in one thing. So I guess I'm not worthy enough to use uh, dark magic. If dark mag, dark magic. Yeah, it's probably dark magic. Oh, huntsman's copes, cops, copes. It was just copes. This is the um. This is the area that was available during the beta. Okay, so in theory I should be able to do okay since I've been here, but I probably won't. Ooh, I have a new sorcery. Uh, no, new pyromancy. What is it? Uh, that heals those who touch it. Um, let's just try it out. I want to see what it does. Okay, my pyromancy flame is in the right hand. Uh, let's see what it does. Uh Oh, okay, so it's probably for healing, I guess. Um Wow, it stays for a while, doesn't it? Wow, okay. Yeah, let's just stick let's stick with this for a bit. I kinda wanna see how it turns out. I should have bought more arrows, but maybe I'll find another uh, merchant. Wow, that did not go away. I want to take damage, see how much health it actually gives me. So if there's an enemy, uh, are you alive? Yes, you are. Okay. Ow. Ow. Don't. Stop it. Ow. You know what? Let's just get some parry. Can I parry this guy? Hello? Okay. I gotta be careful, because he might kill me. Oh, you fucking asshole. Beard! I used to be a man, so my penis fell off. And I grew, and I grew breasts. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, that's actually pretty cool. So, this is probably a good pyromancy for, um... Like, uh, if you're doing co-op. That's really cool. And... And the first dark wow, and that lasts for a long time. Wow. Um, and the first Dark Souls, there were only offensive well, no no, there were defensive pyromancies as well as offensive. Of course there were more offensive pyromancies, but there was never any like support pyromancies, I think. The thing that comes to mind right now is Iron Flesh, and that was a defensive one that like really boosts your Really boosts your defense. 
like you are a fucking wall. And the other thing was flash sweat, which uh, I guess makes your increases your fire resistance. I really like this sword. The um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, let's just check it out real quick. Heidi Knight Sword. I should I should really start in in uh, improving some of my other weapons like the O part gas. Well, uh, uh, is that a slug? No, it looks like it's a, oh, I'm dumb. It's a moth? Butterfly? Um, wow. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I want that. Oh, no, wait. No, I didn't. There's another one down there, too. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying, but that's okay. I don't care. Oh, are those items? Those are items. I want it. Um, but I'm, I can't survive that fall. Uh, let's check our equipment right now. What rings am I holding? Stone ring. Okay, so I figured it out. I don't know why it was so hard for me to understand, but your stone ring helps break enemy poise. That's actually, at least I think that's how I understand it. That's a good effect. Ring of binding. That. I probably don't need... Yeah, I don't need to use this right now. Royal Soldier's Ring. If I take that off... Hmm. Uh, I'm okay with it. With, I'm okay with it off. So, I can make better use of my ring usage right now. Uh, let's do Ring of Rust now. Silver Cat Ring, so I can take better... Higher damage? I don't know. Uh, let me get more soul. So this is probably not my optimal ring usage, but whatever. If I die, I'll just I'll switch it out. That's fine. Death is not an issue. Uh, so I'm kind of familiar with this area since I did play the beta. Uh, so it's not gonna be so much of a surprise, or yeah, not not a lot, not that much of a surprise. Okay, we got archer. I think it's just one archer over here. Yep, that's fine. He did poison damage. So, he probably has- Oh, he's still alive! Fuck. Fine. It's fine. There was another guy down here. Plunging attack! No, no plunging attack. That's fine. I think we cleared out the area. Uh, I think I already had a bandit's knife. And you got backstabbed. So, for a new area, we might actually do really well, because, like I said, I've already been here. Um, and, this, I'm not actually going in blind. I kind of know what to expect. Can't really go back the way I came, so we are got to go up and kind of around. There's going to be two guys here, I believe. One more is going to pop up. I was right. I should, probably should have been using my long sword. Flame butterfly. And flame butterfly. What do those do again? I don't remember. Uh, light torch autonomously. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So I don't need like a, a, a fire source. I can just... If it's like really dark somewhere, down, of course. If it's really dark somewhere, I can just use those things and I'll be fine. Uh, uh, oh, see, look at that. My cat ring saved me. I probably would have taken some damage from that if I didn't have my cat ring. And you can break these boards to reveal light. Look at that. So it's not so dark. I guess this is kind of spoilers for me because I've already been to this area. But I think there's going to be a guy behind this door. Yep, there's a guy. Fuck off. Just break the door. Alright. Let's do wheels. Uh, Rogue Hood. Okay, and the helmet, the helm I'm wearing right now actually increases my... Um, item 
What is it? What is it? Item discovery. Thank you. I sounded dumb. Oh, fuck. I'm getting... Oh, shit, guys. I got invaded. Uh. 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 Okay, well. I'm gonna S this up. I think I know where he... I think I know where they invade from. They should be... Yep. Okay, so he's right here. Um, hello. Are you a... Well, you're a bad guy because you're in... You invaded me. Hello? Hello? Uh, Mr. Invader? Invader? If things get tough, I will run away. Where'd he go? Uh, hello? He's not hiding around this corner. I know there's an enemy here. Oh shit, that was awesome. <laughs> oh god, he... What was that? Oh. He like spawned and then he's gone. That was scary. Uh, we got cracked right out. Oh shit, guy. Dick, I wasn't ready. Magic Fuck off. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry about the non commentary, but it's just tense. Like this is an actual player. Oh god, he did a lot of damage that time. Uh, we're actually pretty close. Oh, fuck me! I didn't open the I didn't open the shortcut either. Uh, I guess that's fine. He had a faster weapon. He had a looks like it was a rapier. 